Live's countdown to Halloween continues today with some last-minute do-it-yourself decor. Please welcome back Andrew and Dennis, the crafty lumberjacks. Hello! Hi! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good to see you. Oh my now God. it's Halloween. Yes, now it is yes. officially Halloween. For okay. sure. I just heard Mark Consuelo say words I never thought I'd hear him say, but take us here first. Yes. Because then I'm going to take you into what he said to me when okay. we get to okay. Okay. What do we got? Okay. What are we doing here? <laughs> yes, let's boo it. We're going to be starting with classic cheesecloth ghosts. Yes, and Mark, mm. you can actually dip that right into the liquid starch, and then you want to really just get it all wet and then wring it out. Okay. And you can drape it right over this balloon. What we did was we took a jar, taped a balloon to it. This is going to give it the form the shape of a ghost, and you want it to let it dry overnight and it's gonna stiffen. Why and baking soda? Uh, it's actually uh, like a liquid starch. So oh, it, liquid you can, starch. Yeah, and you actually can use like craft glue and water. It's This craft You're is really easy to do with stuff you already have at home. It's gonna become hard and firm. Yeah. You there understand? You yeah. Yes. Okay. And then yes. you, can so you pop, pop the, the balloon, balloon and then you're left with a little see-through ghost here. Ooh! Ooh! And then Look you could that. add your festive Ooh! flourishes. Ooh! And I just think they're so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so great. All right, you're gonna go batty for this next one. Look at how cute <laughs> these disco ball ghosts are. Okay, this is what Mark said to me. He goes, I think next year we should do a disco ball themed Halloween. Yes, I, I love, love that it. idea. Disco balls are back, baby. Yes. And this is so great. We're just turning them into little bats here using some craft foam for the wings and of course completing them with googly eyes as you do. Pop them on a branch here that we got at the craft store, but you could also grab a branch from your yard or your neighbor's yard. And I just think they're fantastic. Oh. Hey, oh. Oh. Good upcycle, and uh, you probably have Mark, tons of cardboard here. around your house. And I always say, if you got it, Sorry, haunt it. So we're actually <laughs> turning our cardboard into cardboard haunted houses okay. here. Oh, thank you. Yes. Now it's as easy as finding clip art online, tracing it onto your piece of cardboard, then cutting it out with a craft knife, and then you, all you have to do is tape them together to create almost an accordion effect, and then sloppily paint it just like you're doing on <laughs> both sides. Yes. No, no. Sloppy is good Sloppy's around good? Halloween. Yeah. Mark, okay. really, of course. Mark only knows how to paint it sloppy. Yes, yes that's this perfect for Halloween. Holiday. Yes. And then you can add some candles to it, put it on a tablescape. And this Come is on. a little more chic less creepy. Yes, I oh, love yes. that. Yes, but if you're that. into the magical, whimsical kind of style for Halloween, yeah. I like we that. have a See great that? project mm -hmm. for you. We're actually taking our cauldrons and turning it into a bubbling witch cauldron here. I love Adding that. some ornaments on top. Yes. Yes, and you know what the trick is, Kelly? Actually, you can start gluing them right okay. around. What you want to do is you want to take off the hardware from your ornaments and then hide the top of the ornament to really give it a bubble look. So you just put them in here, glue them all around. We added some some lights. Now to take it over the top, what we did was we found an essential oil diffuser. Oh. Turn it on, put it right in, and then you it creates a smoke. Oh. Hey, you know, Kelly, everything I brew, I brew it for you. I and we thought you for the too. big one here, we thought, why not steal your kids' electric bubble maker? We're gonna pop this in for a witch in good time. Here we go. And it looks fabulous. Oh my god. Oh. when we come back. We are back with the crafty lumberjacks who are showing us easy decor ideas for your Halloween party. This is my jam. I see candles in warm water. Yes, yes. Are we having a waxing party? You know it. We're actually making these bendy ghost candles really fun. You know you have these candles in your drawers at home. Take them out of the drawers. Let them soak in a tub of hot water for about <laughs> five to ten minutes, and then you can start to bend and shape them. Yes, and Mark, we know you have muscles. We know yes, you're strong. Mark has you broken. Break He's broken every candle. <laughs> so oh, no. The trick is to really just take your time mold with it. it. And yes, yes, mold, yes. Mold it. Mold Dry it. them off and then use Shit an acrylic pen to add your little ghostly features. And I mean, come on. Yes, add the You're the ghostest right. with the mostest. Oh my hey. god. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, we, we always like to say leave no area of your home unhaunted. There was a big oh trend God. this year of taking thrifted frames, taking them apart, adding a ghost to it, and then putting it back together. No one has time for that. Spooky. So we're adding ghosts to the to the stuff that we already have on our walls. Amazing. With a takeout container. <gasps> this yes. is so easy. You want to find the flat part, cut it out, 
and then trace or just draw or trace a ghost and then paint it really lightly with acrylic paint so it's a little bit see-through and then tape it on with some double-sided tape. Yes, I mean, so cool, so spooky. So cool. And cool. the best part is after the uh, Halloween is over, you can pull off your ghosts and your pumpkins and, and you are back to normal. Exactly, yeah. yes. That's what you Mark likes, back like to normal. That. Back to normal. He and now back to normal. We're going to show you some last minute irresistible party decor. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're taking regular bowls, turning them into spiders. You actually can start bending these are compostable straws we found Thank online you. all you have to do is hot glue them to the bottom and then of course add some googly eyes and look just with a paper thing, it's so adorable. This is so yeah, it's so, so cute, cute right? right? You can even use them for decoration. Just great. If you're not a crafter, this is for you. You know those paper cups you find. Add some. There are so many of these from laying around. kids' parties. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So just give a little paint marker here. You can uh, mm -hmm. paint on some pumpkin faces. This way you can also distinguish whose cup is whose, and it could become a fun activity at the party, and you want to give them pumpkin to talk about. Oh. <laughs> hey, I knew Come you liked that one. I knew you liked that one. It's fantastic. And for our last hack here, uh, these tablecloths that you can pick up at the dollar store, the party store, really fun. Just give them a little glow up by cutting strips into the pl uh, plastic tablecloths. You can leave them in the fold there. And then when you open them up, you have a fun fringe curtain here like we have in front of the table. Oh my gosh, Which is so great cute. for your table. That's so fast. Or even if you want to hang it up in your hallway for your ghoul friends to walk through. <laughs> so I they can make a grand entrance. Fringe-tastic. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.